Hi dear crocheters, our today's video tutorial will be on how to seam two panels together in a way that is seamless, seamless. okay? And I want to share with you my favorite crocheting pattern. I called it a bubble hearts crocheting because it consists of two hearts. And it's really simple and easy. Um, it's a beginner level. I only work it using single crochet and bubble stitch only. I work it in first panel. I'm in the front panel, and the back panel. I just work it with a single crochet only. Okay, and then I seam it the sides using this technique that I'm gonna show you today in this video tutorial okay and i really am um, in love with this pattern so i worked it in different colors i worked it one in gray second one is in red i felt that red will be more um uh, it, it just has harmony with the heart so it just shows that um love and care Especially if you want to gift it to somebody in special occasions like Mother's Day, Birthday, Anniversary, Valentine's Day, or even at any time to show the one you love, how much you love them and care. Well, I worked at this red bubble heart squishy and I gifted it to my mom in her in Mother's Day and she really loved the gift. Um, and also I worked at one in white color, but I don't know where I put it. Um, so I just wanted to share with you my favorite cushion pattern and if you are interested I can just put the link for it down in the description below okay it's found in my rubber store but I'm gonna put it in the description down below if you want to take a look at the pattern okay so let's start our video tutorial on how to seam two panels together so I want to show you this technique so let's start so here we have our two panels okay so I want to show you that this is this side is called right side and this is called wrong side so I'm gonna put one panel on the right side um, while the right side is facing us and the second panel I have to turn it like this and put it on the first panel okay while the wrong side is facing us after that we have to insert our hook into the first stitch And then grab our yarn, pull it through, and we have to tie it. So, at the top of each panel, we have two loops, yeah? This is called, this is the front loop, and this is the back loop. Okay? And in this panel, also the same. This is the front loop, and that one is the back loop. So what we will do is we will insert our hook into the front loop of the first panel and back loop of the second panel. Okay, and we will just do a single crochet. So, but first we have to insert our hook into the first stitch, pull the yarn, and we have to make one chain. Then, <clears throat> sorry, have to insert our hook. We have to insert our hook into the front loop of the first panel and back loop of the second panel. Yarn over hook, pull through, yarn over hook, pull through two. Again, in the second stitch, we have to insert our hook into the front loop of the first panel and back loop of the second panel 
then yarn over hook, pull through, yarn over hook, pull through two. Again, insert our hook into the front loop of the first panel and back loop of the second panel. Yarn over hook, pull through, yarn over hook, pull through two. Insert our hook into the front loop of the first panel and back loop of the second panel. Yarn over hook, pull through, yarn over hook, pull through two. So I'm going to do the same till end of the row and I'll be back. So here we get to our last stitch which is the chain three double crochet. We will insert our hook into the third chain and of the first panel and the third chain of the second panel. Then yarn over hook, pull through, yarn over hook, pull through two and then we have to make chain one to secure our work. And then fold it and we will get this beautiful uh, seems as if it is seamless okay so this is how we join how I usually join two panels together I like this way and hope you guys enjoy this uh, technique and find it easy I hope so uh, so thank you so much for watching and if you're if you like this video please give it a thumb up don't forget to subscribe as well as hit the bell button to be notified whenever i have uploaded a new video thank you so much for watching see you in the next video bye